back to the channel and back. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing very well. This is going to be a bit more pleasant vlog. 137 uh, vlog. And I'm having my strawberry hibiscus tea. We live in As you do. Right now I'm in East Sussex outside just chilling my backside off. I won't go too far and I won't go too near <laughs> if you get what I mean. Um right now I'm just chilling as you do. <laughs> Struggling as you do. Because I've got that. And I'm still like this. So it's still a bit of a struggle, but I'm alright. My old gym group, well, the old gym that I used to go to is here. But I won't talk about that because it's a bit too upsetting. Um, firstly, I apologise for putting the other video down, but I do really, really have to say something. Right? To whoever went up to my husband and said what they said about me, right? Had no rights. The vlog wasn't for... How can I explain it? The vlog was basically for somebody, if a friend of mine to see it, to know that I was telling the truth about stuff and that I wasn't lying. But no, some little prick had to go to my husband and say this, that and the other. Yeah, things do happen, but I'm slowly struggling to be by myself. I am slowly struggling to trust my husband after what you, the prick, said to my husband along the road that I'm this, that, and other, I shouldn't be putting things like that on YouTube. Well, that's to you, yeah, quite frankly, because at the end of the day, you have nothing to do with my YouTube, so I'm going to say this to you. Yeah. Anybody that cyber stalks takes my videos or talks about me in a not very nice way against my videos or anything like that do not watch my videos whatsoever because if you don't like my videos watch something else because I just tell the truth so like there you go if you're not happy with watching my videos do one because it's nothing to do with you I put these videos on for my memories, right? Like, because one day I'm not going to be around here. And, like, videos are a way of creating memories. And especially for my friends that do care about me, that live across halfway up the other side of the world, who actually do give a rat's ass about me, that care about me, want to know what's going on with me. Like, I have so many different things going on with me right now but at the end of the day I'm still here and that's all that matters and I'm grateful. Sorry for like the bit of a rant but I just wanted to say that because I know there's still some dickheads that still want to watch my videos and try to be like, eh, Skylar's saying this, Skylar's saying that. Well, that's to you. Because my videos are for me, my friends that live across the world, and for my two of my best friends that live here. But you know what? I still have the video on my laptop. So when I do sort out things with my friends, he will see the entirety of that video. He will also know that I've been telling the truth all along. He will also know that I was getting bullied in the gym right over there by some stupid girl called Yasmin and her merry little friendly Ugh. which I just want to rip her head off because she's still not forgiven for that quite frankly I don't know when I'll forgive her for that well I'll probably never forgive her for that just rip her head off because I just can't stand her I hate her I don't hate many people but I don't like her My drink so I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit 
I know you're getting another outside vlog. <laughs> sort of like me, I'm usually vlogging in the house. Um, but, uh, oh, just got an itchy nose. Yeah, the claws are back. <laughs> yeah, my claws, Jen done my claws today. So I'm very proud of her for that. Um, tell you what's going on with my channel right now. As you know, I'm back. So I will be doing regular videos. I don't care what happens in my videos anymore because this is all about me. And at the end of the day, this is all about me. I don't speak much about anybody else. But at the end of the day, this is my channel, my vlog. I can say what I like. If you don't like how I say it, then politely said, do not watch my channel because my channel can get a little bit rude I can get a little bit offensive I can swear I can do what I like if you don't like it then don't watch and quite frankly I will I don't like people like you who went up to Peter and said all this shit about me on my channel and I don't care if you're already subscribed to me or not but if you already are unsubscribe yourself to my channel because I quite frankly do not care I am coming back, I am coming back with bigger, better vlogs, I have an announcement coming soon which is very exciting for my channel and there will be more unboxings, there will be more videos to do with Colway International, also known as CI The Collagen Company, I will be talking more about my product testers, I will be talking more about Lush, I will be talking more about general unboxing of things that I love to do, I will be talking about vlogs, personal vlogs any vlogs, travel vlogs, movie reviews, anything and everything. So, there you go. And I got all that out in a big massive tongue twister. And I'm still vlogging, so I need an, a drink. <laughs> right? I am not 100% right now. But I am trying to be close enough. I've suffered too much in the past couple of months to realise. Just take any more steps back. It's just taking the steps forward. Because that's what I need to do. And that's it. Well, I'm going to just look at this view where I'm at now. Because of me being in Liverpool City Centre. <laughs> yeah, another outside vlog. As I said again and again and again. So, I always, I just want to say to you guys that have been behind me for the past couple of months, a big massive thank you, like YouTuber wise, um, you guys know who you are, but I especially want to thank two people in particular on this vlog, like, I call the YouTubers and the, some people that watch my videos like Rebecca, their boyfriend Lou and their friends. I can shout his views out now. But speaking of thank yous, there's two people I really, really want to thank. And the last person actually worked in the gym group, so <laughs> it's a bit of a coincidence that I'm sitting here doing this. Well, the first one is, of course, Nadia. She is one of the most sweetest girls on the planet. I know she's had my thank you card, but I'd rather say it out here. Um, that girl has just been so welcoming, friendly towards me, she's always been kind, gentle, um, she understands um, when it's okay to talk to me and when it's okay not to talk to me because of um, me suffering with panic attacks lately and me having a bit of a breakdown, well nervous breakdown and that's the truth. And she's just been so there for me, so kind, so sweet, so gentle and i'm so happy that she is a actual friend now last but not least it sounds really weird because i'm sitting here and i'm looking right now at that that is the gym group so the other person i'm thinking works there he knows who exactly it is i know we haven't been close last couple of months because things happen I've I've apologized 
I hope he accepts my apologies. I've written a thank you card for him. I've just everything but he has been an absolute godsend. I didn't realise that I always thought to myself when I left here I'd never ever see him again. But something inside me said, You'll see him again. You'll see him again soon and one day you two will eventually get friends again. His name is Sean and I walk somewhere and there he is, he's working there as well because he's got two jobs but he's, he's just like one of the most amazing fantastic people. Inspirational to me that I've ever known and I never realised that until like you never realise things until they happen and like with me being in my car accident and me having my shoulder surgery you never realise until something like that happens when you know who your true friends are and the true people that you want around you are and he is one of them sorry I'm, I'm trying not to fill up I'm trying not to cry I'm trying to stay strong for this but he is just so kind so sweet so gentle he kn he's like him and Nadia are just like so the same in the way they've been treating me lately and for him so more like I felt so vulnerable lately and he's like come here you just hug and I'm like what <laughs> so when he gives me hugs it doesn't make me feel like I'm protected and like don't feel vulnerable which is something that I've wanted to be for a very long time and then when I'm but when I'm talking to him and Nadia and there's a couple other people but especially him and Nadia I just feel safe I just feel like I can actually talk to them about anything and they're like one two of the most amazing people on the planet him especially he inspires me so much because at one time I thought right my weight stopped, weight plateaued. He showed me something, and because of him, I now am 35 stone lighter. So, he is my inspiration, and I am so pr grateful and so proud of that. And I just think he's amazing. So, yeah, gotta finish this now. So, stay gory. Have unpleasant dreams and I'll see you all soon. I'm going to have to probably stay gory and have some pleasant dreams. See you all soon. Ta-ta for now. Bye.